Hello, this video will introduce C as a programming language, which is a general purpose, structured programming language. It focuses on the basic elements to construct simple C statements. These elements include the C character set, identifiers and keywords, data types, constants, variables and arrays, declarations, expressions and statements. We will see how these basic elements can be combined to form more comprehensive program components. At the end of this learning unit, you should be able to understand the basic elements of the C programming language. Experiment with a C character set. Formulate the basic elements to construct a simple C statement. Understand concepts such as keywords, data types, constants and variables. Construct more comprehensive program components while making use of basic elements. Introduction to CC is a general purpose, structured programming language. Its instructions consist of terms that resemble algebraic expressions augmented by certain English keywords such as if, else, for, to and while. In this respect, C resembles other high-level, structured programming languages such as Pascal and Fortran. C also contains certain additional features however, that allow it to be used at a lower level, thus bridging the gap between machine language and the more conventional, high-level languages. This flexibility allows C to be used for systems programming, that is, the writing operating systems, as well as for applications programming, that is, for writing a program to solve a complicated system of mathematical equations, or for writing a program to bill customers. C is characterized by the ability to write very concise source programs due in part to the large number of operators included within the language. It has a relatively small instruction set, though actual implementations include extensive library functions which enhance the basic instructions. Furthermore, the language encourages users to write additional library functions of their own. Thus, the features and capabilities of the language can easily be extended by the user. Now, we move on to the introductory concepts well. C compilers are commonly available for computers of all sizes. The compilers are usually compact, and they generate object programs that are small, and highly efficient when compared with programs compiled from other high-level languages. C interpreters are becoming increasingly common. The interpreters are less efficient, though they are easier to use when developing a new program. Many programmers begin with an interpreter and then switch to a compiler once the program has been debugged, that is, once all of the programming errors have been removed. Another important characteristic of C is that its programs are highly portable, even more so than with other high-level languages. The reason for this is that C relegates most computer-dependent features to its library functions. Thus, every version of C is accompanied by its own set of library functions which are written for the particular characteristics of the host computer. These library functions are relatively standardized, however, and each individual library function is generally accessed in the same manner from one version of C to another. Therefore, most C programs can be processed on many different computers with little or no alteration. C was originally developed in the 1970s by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Telephone Laboratories, Inc. It is an outgrowth of two earlier languages called BCPL and B, which were also developed at Bell Laboratories. C 
C was largely confined to use within Bell Laboratories until 1978, when Brian Koenigan and Ritchie published a definitive description of the language. The Koenigan and Ritchie description is commonly referred to as K and R C. Following the publication of the K and R description, computer professionals impressed with C's many desirable features began to promote the use of the language. By the mid-1980s, the popularity of C had become widespread. Numerous C compilers and interpreters had been written for computers of all sizes, and many commercial application programs had been developed. Moreover, many commercial software products that were originally written in other languages were rewritten in C in order to take advantage of its efficiency and its portability. Early commercial implementations of C differed somewhat from Koenigan and Ritchie's original definition, resulting in minor incompatibilities between different implementations of the language. These differences diminished the portability that the language attempted to provide. Consequently, the American National Standards Institute and Psi Committee X3J11 has developed a standardized definition of the C language. Virtually, all commercial C compilers and interpreters now adhere to the ANSI standard. Many also provide additional features of their own. In the early 1980s, another high-level programming language called C++ was developed by Jan Straustrup at the Bell Laboratories. C++ is built upon C and hence, all standard C features are available within C++. However, C++ is not merely an extension of C, rather, it incorporates several new fundamental concepts that form a basis for object-oriented programming, a new programming paradigm that is of interest to professional programmers. The C character set C uses the uppercase letters, A to Z, the lowercase letters, A to Z, the digits, 0 to 9, and certain special characters as building blocks to form basic program elements. That is constants, variables, operators, expressions, etc. The special characters are shown. Identifiers and keywords. Identifiers are names that are given to various program elements such as variables, functions and arrays. Identifiers consist of letters and digits in any order except that the first character must be a letter. Both upper and lowercase letters are permitted, though common usage favors the use of lowercase letters for most types of identifiers. Upper and lowercase letters are not interchangeable. That is, an uppercase letter is not equivalent to the corresponding lowercase letter. The underscore character can also be included and is considered to be a letter. An underscore is often used in the middle of an identifier. An identifier may also begin with an underscore, though this is rarely done in practice. Example of valid identifiers. Keywords in C programming language. There are certain reserved words called keywords that have standard predefined meanings in C. These keywords can be used only for their intended purpose. They cannot be used as programmer defined identifiers. The standard keywords are auto, exton, size of, break, float, static, case, for, struct, char, gato, switch, const, if. Tipadif, continue, int, union, default, long, unsigned, do, register, void, double, return, volatile, else, short, while, enum, sign. Some compilers may also include some or all of the following keywords. Note that the keywords are all lowercase. Since uppercase and lowercase characters are not equivalent, it is possible to utilize an uppercase keyword as an identifier. Normally, however, this is not done, 
as it is considered a poor programming practice. Data types. C supports several different types of data, each of which may be represented differently within the computer's memory. Typical memory requirements are also given. The memory requirements for each data type will determine the permissible range of values for the data type. Note that the memory requirements for each data type may vary from one C compiler to another.